the prisoners, and the memory to the yeah. prisoners of war. See, you can't tell too much about this area by looking in a picture. No. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe that some of this area overhead is where some of the theater stuff was. In this area? And that, yeah, and where the uh, officers' homes was. Okay. Was in that area there. In this area. Interesting. So then the black soldiers would have been somewhere. They'd have been back here. Back in back this area. Right here. In that area. So possibly the black. We have two possibilities now. But I think you're right because this looks a little. This look at there's some larger buildings here. Yes, oh, yes ma'am. This, uh, this looks more. Hey, what is, can you tell what this could, what that building is? It doesn't look like. It looks different from the other ones. That's why I wonder. Oh, man, I, just, I, don't know. I know. It's, it's big, real hard. I they know. had a big recreation right. field there, you know, where they held all these shows and everything. And see that area there. I'm saying that the guest house was down in this area somewhere, too. Somebody, okay, so the guest house and maybe the recreation area could have been I, back I there. I think it was in this area here. Very this don't show no signs of it here. No. This, this shows the... Very likely you're right. Hospital area. Well, it would make sense. You would probably see all these buildings. So I say the hospital area too, because it's not no two-story building. It's here. like everybody that I've seen. Well, there have been two of you, and the, he, the other gentleman was real strong that that was the hospital area. Too. Yeah, I'm sure that. And he helps. just remembered. He remembered that the, the, the black soldiers were separate, yeah. but very likely it yeah, could I have been back, back there here, rather back than. Hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. The reason I know a because it's the only place on the camp that had these connecting things from building to building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the hospital area, I mean, there was, it was a pretty large area. It was a pretty good sized area. It was more than one building. It was, oh, yeah, it was, it was a, a lot series of buildings, of buildings then. Where where would the sewer go on? And it, please, it, I, mean, I don't expect you to know this, but where would the sewer treatment plant be? The, um, the sewer disposal? Uh -huh. Well, ma'am, I, I, the way I remember that, that was right on the right hand side when you go into the entrance. Mm -hmm. When you go into the entrance. And of course, there was a part over on the other if, side, too. If that's the entrance and it's coming, and Highway 6 is up here, then that, you think that might be the sewer over there, the, the sewer well, treatment area? It might see, be that it's I a high little, can you see that? It's a, yeah. It's like a tower or something. I really think that might be the incinerator deal there. Mm -hmm. I think. Okay. The yeah. incinerator wasn't where the sewer treatment plant was. No. Yeah, it was all separated, you know, and kind of all that burning and everything. Mm -hmm. They needed to have that separated. Okay. You know. Okay. Well, you need help. Believe me. Mm -hmm. Believe me. I can remember parts of the sewer plant. There was a part of it on the left hand side and there was a part of it on the right hand side. There's still some of that yeah, back I, there. If I could see that, I could. Yeah. You, you'd yeah. have to get way back there. I've, I've been there, but it's, it's a major trip. <laughs> I couldn't find it. This time of year is the best, but I kind of know where it is. That's why I was asking. Back in there where they have the uh, archery right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, no, it, it's on the other side. It's before you get to the archery range. Okay, if you came in, in the entrance from Highway 6, mm -hmm. the archery range is on the left. Yeah. You go back just a little bit to the right, and that's back in the woods there is where the sewer yeah. treatment plant is. Well, I think one of those buildings that they are using is part of, well, there's a brick building still. Yeah, that's... You can see it from the canal. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the only building I've found that's still... I think... The area where I work too is somewhere up in, in this area. Yeah. So what would it I can't in? see the I can't see the great. So were you mark. assigned to a certain area, maybe? Or? I was in the carpentry shop. Carpentry. Okay. We done all the repair work. You know, work the buildings, mm -hmm. putting okay. up new doors, putting glass in the windows, patching the roofs. Which after '43, we did have a lot of roof patching. Oh, oh I mentioned it after that big <laughs> hurricane. Oh yeah. Right we had a lot of roof because in the July they had a birthday. We still haven't talked about the person. So <laughs> Tell me about the person. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know Ms. Robinson would also well, like to hear about it. I can't tell you the exact date the prisoners came there, but I'm talking about somewhere in 1943. Okay. Because when the Navy came in, 
took it over in 44, the business was shipped out to other places. Okay. And they, so they were there for a relatively short period. Yeah. Okay. You're thinking maybe 43 to 44. 43 to 44 sometimes. Okay. They weren't there in 1942. They, and they weren't there in 1945? You think they were out by then? Uh, let's see. I don't exactly know when they went out. Uh, I'll say, yeah, sometime 45. Mm -hmm. Early 45. And how did they, uh, how did the prisoners uh, keep their facilities? Can you tell me anything about that? Did they keep them in good repair? Oh, yes, ma'am. Their living quarters was spick and span. And they were, re they, they kept their quarters themselves. They kept I mean, their they quarters. Their quarters was people. inside, you know, wire things with guard, a high guard mm -hmm. uh, post on them, mm -hmm. on two corners. But they kept their stuff in there. They done all their own cleaning, their own cooking, and everything. And then in the morning, they was just, you know, just brace from that area to go on about there, where, what area they was going to work in. And they did, what kind of things did they do, you know, what kind of areas did they Well, work I told you that they done a lot of work in the uh, motor pool. The motor That's what they call oh, motor okay. pool. Uh, repairing those trucks, which was brought in by rail. The trucks were brought in brought by, in by rail. rail, and then... What were, kind of trucks? Were these just the convoy yeah. trucks? Or? Yes, convoy trucks and, well, some of the other kind of smaller trucks, that, uh, not to carry troops in, but... But to the carry supplies, yeah. equipment. So they were they were good at repairing trucks? Yes, ma'am. Um, can you tell me about, just physically, you said you had actually been in those prison quarters. Um, can you describe one to me? I think you said something about flower boxes. Yes, so. ma'am. They had flower boxes in the windows. And flowers in them? Curtains on all the windows. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really? How would this compare with the American troops, I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any comparison in the cleanliness and all that because, you know, those prisoners got out on their hands and knees with scrub brushes and done them floors. They just didn't mop them. They scrubbed them. Gardens? Did they have gardens? No, ma'am. They didn't have no gardens that I know of. Okay. Just flower boxes, the only thing that I know of. But curtains. How in the world did they, did they make them? Well, they... They got them? They got material from them. You know, they supplied them with a lot of the things that they needed, a lot of things they asked for. And what kind of things did they do to occupy their time when they... Well, most of them was working out on all these different areas. You know, they had grass cutting details, and they had several other things. This man from the mark, he, was, he had a concrete crew. A concrete? That was, you know, we built several buildings over there ourselves. Uh-huh. Uh, after the plant was already in operation. Now, what would you say? So they would work for the contractors. That well, they hard. worked. Yeah, they yeah. had a crew down there. Now, some of the some of the things we built with our own crew at Camp Wallace, like we built a great big uh, recreation area down in one other part of the plant. Let's see, I don't know where it was. It was still in where the white was at and everything. And I think maybe it might have been. Could have been back in here, or it could have been back down in this area somewhere. Hmm. But it was but a recreation. Yeah, recreation. Building? A great big recreation building. We built that for the. Did the and the prisoners were just a few building? They just done all of the end work. You know, they helped get the land ready clearing and all this, and they're clearing up and everything. And then they was there with the man that Mr. His name was Wade Hopper. He was a German. Okay. So what was the name? Way a hopper. I don't know how. W a d a h o f f e r or something like. That. I don't know how to spell it. Okay. Well, he was a German. W. It started with a W. W. Oh, and w. He, uh -huh. he was a German, and he didn't have no problems conferred with him. Uh -huh. so, oh. That's so. Oh, that's so he was a contractor. Uh, that worked in Camp Wallace. He he worked for Camp Wallace. But he, and he was German. But he was able to talk to the German. Ma'am. He was able to speak to the German. And how many of the German prisoners, I think, uh, spoke English? Were there very many that could I don't speak know if too many, just, you know, me being around that area on several different times, just like I told you, the one talked to me mm -hmm. and wanted that, wanted that bracelet. I had a bracelet on my arm. He wanted that. <laughs> and he was able to get it across he, he to you? He pointed to oh. me. He said, I'd like to have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and he showed me this ring 
that he made out of 50 cent piece. So I gave him the bracelet, he gave me the ring. It didn't matter to me, it wasn't really no big deal. And it wasn't no expensive bracelet. Do you still have a ring? I don't have that one, but I showed her uh, the one that, that they made out of a stainless steel pipe. Oh, okay. And this was another prisoner that came That was a prisoner of right? war that made uh -huh. that out of a stainless steel pipe. We might want to hold that up. Steel yeah. pipe. It's, it's very uh, smooth. Would you uh, have any use for that to be just left over here with some of your things? Oh, we would love to have it. Yes, sir. It. We would add it to well, our Well, listen, display. I can't do nothing but just sit over there in a box well, like I it was. It would have a and lot. it was made by the German prisoner. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? See, one of those prisoners that work in a multiple shop, uh -huh. machinist. Right. The they machinist. made that in the machine shop. Oh, so these were some You know, where they skilled. had all the equipment to do that. That wasn't made by hand. Yeah. Very, very That was made in a machine shop with uh, incredible power equipment. Well, we would, our, we, I assure you, we'll take we good care of it. That's all right. I, yeah, it won't make care. And I'm going to add it to my display out there. It won't we'll never put a little do sign. It's because it's been well, sitting in a box. We want to get your name on it. Well, I'll never know. find that other, and I'll bring that over to you also. Oh, okay. that'd, that'd, that'd be wonderful. Because that'd be great. Right. That's wonderful. It's a, um, another thing you, you had mentioned to me that. I think it was you. I hope I got the right. A couple of people have been talking. But didn't you say that they also work with magnifying glasses? Yeah, I've yeah. seen them, you know, sit out in that area that have a piece of soft wood. You just hold it between the legs and sit out there with this magnifying glass shining down on that from the sun. Uh -huh. And they just make these oh. beautiful designs. Burn into the, the wood. Burn into right? the wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. And then also Prato, they made wooden shoes. Oh, really? Yeah. But they wore them for dress occasions, That's right? just when they was in their barracks around there when they could wear house shoes. Like. So they, it sounds like they wanted to be busy all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, they did. Things. Yeah. Well, and you said you actually ate with them. I did. And tell us about what they kind of food they had. Well, they had good food. They had, like, you know, they had good meat. Really? Vegetables and things like that. And lots of sauerkraut was wow. put on their main menu. <laughs> Good. For one thing. And well you know, cooked. Well cooked. Good taste. They're good, good cooks. Very you good. Know, you know, we was allowed to eat in whatever area we worked in. Just like if we was open some of these bags there doing some work. That mess hall in that area is where we'd eat. Uh -huh. See, each one of these set of bags had their own mess hall. Uh -huh. They had their own uh let's see, they all had their own little building where the company commander stayed and the first sergeant. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Battalion? Uh, well, no? I'm trying to think of the name of the little building the area, where they was. It? Uh, I'll think of it later. You'll think of it? It's where. But they had their own area. Battery? Was it a battery? I no. call them a company. Company. Well, let's had, just go see, with they, company. They had four platoons, had and they called that the, a company. Each, four platoons each before four the company. platoons into each company. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, they had their own commander. Commander. I mean, that, well, he was the head of that. And he platoon. had his own, uh, like, building or yeah, office he, he or house? A, he had a little building there that uh, he stayed there. And headquarters? Thought, headquarters. And, uh, mm -hmm. They called a CO office or headquarters. Okay. It's, it's the same thing anyway. They've yeah. done all their business. And they, you know, when okay. soldiers and so needed. there were more than one of those areas? Oh, yeah, there was one headquarters. in each area. What? The other gentleman felt this area was a lot of different, he called it platoons in this area. Yeah, that's, that's, that's he delivered I, papers and he remembered this area quite well. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I call these. Uh, see, these here look like the mess halls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These little, oh, the ones on the front. Yeah, without, uh, not two-story, those was a mess hall. Too.